Hi there, just want to do a quick um, video on about low carb diets and whether they're dangerous or not. Um, so I'll start off with just a quick summary really. So basically it depends massively on your genetics. So there are tests you can get done like via 23andMe, I think they're about £100. I've not had it done myself. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. Um, and I don't think they actually interpret the results for you. They'll give you the results. But because people such as Angelina Jolie took her results and her risk of breast cancer and what have you and started removing different organs, they don't want to get sued for getting the uh, kind of diagnosis wrong. So I think you have to pay then for someone else to interpret the results for you, tell you what these different genes mean or these polymorphisms or what have you, what they mean. So if you go ahead doing that and confirm that you're not at high risk of heart attack and I think what they call hypercholesterol, there's a big word that means your cholesterol can shoot up and be dangerously high. Um, I believe it's about 20% of people um, are susceptible to high cholesterol and heart attack strokes. Um, and basically they shouldn't do a high, high fat ketogenic diet. Um, whereas the rest of us, or the rest of the population should do fine on, on the ketogenic diet. It's massive in Silicon Valley because it's meant to improve your, as I say, as I'm struggling for words and trying to get my words out, it uh, improves your cognitive functioning, uh, makes you think quicker. As you can tell, I'm not on the ketogenic diet at the moment. Um, I didn't find, well, I was on it for about a year. Um, I struggled with the, the cost of it and I just lost more weight than I wanted to really. And I did targeted ketogenic diet where you have some carbohydrate before you train. Um, but I found that my strength did kind of drop off quite a bit as well. Um, so now I do carb cycling. I'll have two, two days a week, uh, low carb and or no carb. Um, and once a month I'll do a 24 hour fast as well. Uh, fasting is a kind of safer way to, although I would be super, make sure you're supervised if you've not done it before and, and build up slowly. The first time I tried to do 16 hours, I nearly collapsed because I felt terrible. And now I can do 24 hours and it's, you know, not easy, but it's not too bad. Um, so back to, back to the high fat diets, um, that some people tout it as a way to fight cancer. It, apparently some cancers use fat as fuel, some use carbohydrate. So again, fasting 24 hours in theory is going to at least stop those types of cancers growing, both types in theory. Um, and even, um, carb cycling might, might be beneficial as well because you're alternating the sources of your, of your energy. Um, not something at all that I'm an expert on though, so definitely worth further reading. Um, go to googlescholar.com and just put in ketogenic diet cancer. I'll put a link in the in the uh, description below the video. But it's um, you got to sift through a lot of studies. It's a painful process if you're looking into something like that. Um, quick, quickly back to high fat diets. Coconut oil, that's medium chain triglycerides and lauric acid are the saturated fat in that which is a lot different to normal saturated fat there are studies showing that people who have a high percentage of coconuts in their diet actually have really low incidence of um, heart attacks and cardiovascular disease but then they're living by coconuts and coconut trees they're probably going to have evolved to adapt to that same as like Eskimos they have high fat diet low carb diet traditionally um, they you know anyone who's got problems with that in terms of their genetics they're gonna it's gonna kind of get bred out of them they're gonna evolve so that they're they are best suited to that type of diet so if you kind of from a westernized society for like the last 10 generations to jump back into the the paleo type diet of high fat low carb no grains potentially a bit dangerous um i mean it takes millions of years to evolve apparently to a significant extent however it was discovered in the last four thousand years we did evolve the the kind of gene and the ability to, to digest uh, cow's milk. Again, some people that don't do well on cow's milk, so some people do fine, myself, I can't stand it. So, and there's the argument, it's all mass produced crap as well, as well nowadays. So high fat diets, there's studies looking at, studies that support it. There's studies that say it's um, a bad way to go and mortality kind of increases. Um, I'll put a, a link to a, a blog post I've done as well. I'll put that in the description. Um, but yeah, there's arguments either way, but it seems to depend a lot on your genetics. Um, just check if there's anything else I wanted to point out. 
Um, oh yeah, plant-based diets. There was one study that showed um, if you had high fat, high fat diet, lots of meat. That whether it was because of the quality of meat was poor or it was processed, I'm not sure. Um, but people on high fat with high high level of meat, their mortality seemed to increase. Whereas plant-based diet, high fat actually increased it. They tended to live longer. Their lifespan was on average greater than people who had a normal kind of high carb diet. So either way, sugar's I think generally accepted now. Um, with the inflammation that comes with it and the spike in your blood sugar, that, that's kind of bad news. Um, so processed foods are the main thing to cut out. Um, oh yeah, and then low carb diets, in my experience, really bad for strength and explosive power. Um, once you're adopted over a few months, in theory, you can kind of at least equal your kind of um, endurance um, ability, your kind of ability to run 10,000 meters shouldn't be affected. Or sometimes people claim that it can be slightly enhanced. Um, but yeah, if you try and do deadlifts or circuit class on a ketogenic diet, you're going to struggle. And um, that's why the, the targeted keto, ketogenic diet is better for mixed martial arts because you can have um, 50 grams or so half an hour before you train and actually give you enough energy to, to kind of work explosively and at a higher intensity during the session. But I've waffled on that for ages now, so I hope that was helpful. Thanks very much.